I've taken this door down from an upstairs toilet. As you can see, it's one of those hollow doors made out of plywood and um, it's got a really ugly brown varnish on it. Fortunately, it's not a standard size door. Um, if you have a look underneath here, you can actually see how it's been cut down to size. It's about six inches shorter than normal. For some time now I've been watching YouTube videos about people transferring photocopy images directly onto wood. This copy, which I've downloaded from internet, there's a website called uh, Graphics Ferry. I'll put a link in the description at the bottom. Um, you go onto the website and you can download the image and then on the computer you can actually switch it around. So. All the writing that you see there is actually in reverse. So I'm going to use this gesso. It's a primer which people normally put onto canvases when they when they're doing a painting. So I'm using a pretty soft brush. So I don't make any lines on it. I want it as smooth as possible. I'm pretty much ready to start now. I thought I might mention that if you don't have gesso, I think you could use any um, acrylic paint. Also, bought this stuff, which is a transfer gel medium. Uh, it does say matte finish. Um, a lot of people use something called Mod Podge. Also used that, which is a Patex, Patex white glue for wood. And uh, that was right in the beginning, and I got that result just by using the white glue because it, when it's dry, it's transparent. You need a little roller, which you can probably buy at an art store. I didn't have one when I did this, so I just used a roll of tape like this, and I did that just to squeeze out all the air bubbles. But today, I have borrowed my wife's rolling, rolling pin. And I think that's going to work a lot better. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is put this transfer gel on fairly thickly. All I'm going to smooth it with this ruler. See it's squeezed out quite a lot of stuff already. So now we just gotta wait 12 hours until it's absolutely bone dry and then we'll take the paper off. In the meantime, just to save time, I'm gonna be gluing these wood strips on. Okay, so here we are the next day, and this paper is absolutely perfectly dry. I've got a jar of water and an old sponge, and I've put this cloth here to catch any water that might run down the door. 
wetting this paper completely. Just let that soak in for a little bit. I'm going to start up in this corner here. The paper is completely wet and just get your fingers or two fingers and rub very lightly over that paper and you'll notice that it starts coming off. And as you go along you could just add more water. is more of a close-up so you can actually see the water coming off I mean the paper coming off you can sort of roll it back As you can see, I've glued the little wooden strips around the picture just to create a frame. I'm now going to give it a coat of paint all the way around the sides. Finally, I'm going to put a coat of varnish on here. This is a clear, clear varnish and it's a satin finish. I think it's just going to sharpen all the colors and uh, make them stand out a bit better and also protect the surface. So now the door is completely finished. I'm um, not giving it a second coat. I sort of like that distressed look.